hard. All right, so Harold bought four and five tenths cubic yards of topsoil for his garden. The topsoil cost $18.70 per cubic yard. How much did Harold pay for the topsoil for his garden? I want to talk about, in words, how we would solve this problem. In words, how we would solve this problem. So, Layla, in words, how would we solve this problem? <clears throat> You're not sure? Okay. AJ? The so multiply what was bought by the cost. Okay? If it just said, Harold bought five yards of topsoil, each, top, each one cost $10. If the numbers throw you off, Make them whole numbers. Make them numbers that are easy to use. So if he bought five and, he, and it cost 10, how much would that be? How much money would that be? 50. 50. You can all figure that out if they have, don't have the numbers in it. So now we're going to write our equation. We have 4 and 5 tenths times $18.70. A equals C, the cost. Now we're going to estimate. We're going to estimate. So, Avenue, what do you want to do with four and five tenths for, to, for us to estimate? Turn it into five. <coughs> Turn it into five. Lyric, what about $18.70? Now, let's make it easy to do in our head. Destry? Make it 20. Or 19, but 20 is easier to do in my head. And what would 5 times 20 be? 100. Now, is our cost going to be less than or greater than 100? Less than 100, which eliminates two of the answers very quickly, because our answer, we have to be less than 100. Yes, AJ? Eliminate A and B less than no, our answer has to be less than 100. Our answer has to be less than 100, because we, let's put it on my desk, because we made these both bigger, so our estimate is going to be bigger than our actual answer. Following our, our equation, we'll do the actual equation. If I multiply $18.70 and I multiplied it by four and five tenths, four and five tenths, I'm not gonna use the decimal points in my actual work. I'll put the decimal point in after I'm done in my equation, five times zero is zero. zero. Five times seven is 35. You have this on your paper. I'm 100% sure you have it on your paper because you couldn't have done it in your head. If you don't have the work on your paper, you just picked an answer. So five times seven was 35. Five times eight plus three. 5 times 1, Five. plus 4, Nine. 9. Well, he has it on his paper, so all he has to do is look at it. Now we're moving to the tens place. So that's why this 0 goes in the ones place, because I'm not adding anything to the ones place, because I'm going into the tens place. 4 times 0 is? 4 times 7? 28. 28. 4 times 8? 32 plus 2 more. 34. 34. 4 times 1. 4. Plus 3 more. 0, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10, 14. 
And there are how many numbers behind the decimal point in my problem? One, two, three. One, two, three. We're talking about money, so we only need to go out to the hundredths place. So my answer should be $84.15. You had to do the work if you wanted to get the right answer. Just circling an answer tells me that you're being lazy and you're not trying. You could not solve this problem without showing the work. You estimate, and you could have eliminated two answers, but that's not going to do the whole problem for you. That won't do the whole problem for you. You have to show the work if you want to get it correct.